Welcome to Become an Expert, brought to you by Kendrion. In this series of product-related videos, we will provide a comprehensive overview of the functionality and application of electromagnetic brakes. So join us as we explore the fascinating world of electromagnetic brakes. In this training video, we will be looking at permanent magnet brakes. In particular, we will be looking at the terminologies that describe the components of the electromagnetic brake. We'll be also looking at the components of the electromagnetic brake. And based on that, we will be looking at the cross-sectional view of the permanent magnet brake and how the components interact with each other. And as the last point in this introductory video, we will be looking at how the permanent magnet brake opens and closes. So let's start. Before we continue, we should have a look at the terminologies of the permanent magnet brake. The permanent magnet brake has two components, the rotor, also known as the armature system, and the stator, also known as the coil system. The rotor here has the typical following components. It has an armature plate. It has here, in this case here, quite a large hub. The hub comes in different shapes and sizes. We will talk about explicitly about that a little bit later in another video. And connecting the, the aluminium hub to the steel plate, there are springs. From the coil system, the coil system, as you can see, is a little bit more complex. The first thing it has here is the housing, the magnetic housing made of metal. We have a coil which goes around the entire system. And on the front here, we have a flange. And from the name, we have the permanent magnets, which are located on the surface inside of the brake. In the next step, we will have a look at these, how they all fit together. In this video, we will be looking at the components of a permanent magnet brake. Here, initially, I have a manufactured permanent magnet brake, and we will have a look at this initially, and then we will see how the components of a permanent magnet brake are fit together to make a completed brake. So, the brake itself consists of two components. Here we have the so-called stator of the brake, which is the basically the stationary part of the brake. And this then is typically mounted here through these mounting screws here onto a flange of a motor. Okay. Inside of this, there are various components, which we will have a look at here on this, on this build up here. This part of the brake is the rotor. From the name itself, it says this is the rotary part of the brake and this rotates on the shaft of the application. And they work together in this fashion. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at the components of the brake and how they interact together to make a complete brake. Now let's have a look at the components of the permanent magnet brake and how they are assembled to make a complete brake. Here, first is that we have the housing of the brake and here we have the coil. The coil is inserted into the housing of the brake as follows and it sits in to the housing of the brake. The second thing that we need to do is insert the magnets. So here, I will just demonstrate the principle. Here, the magnets sit around the outside of the brake as follows. Then we have the armature plate that sits on top that holds the entire brake together. Then we have the rotary components of the system. This again comp composes of two different parts. We have the hub. This is called the hub. In this particular case, this is quite a special hub, but we will have a look at that in another video to explain the difference of the hubs. And this hub is connected to the armature plate here. Here you can see there are rivet holes or screw holes here that screw or hold both components together. And here we have springs. This particular armature has got three springs, one, two, three and when complete, is assembled. Now, so let's go back. There are the individual components. Now let's go back and have a look at the complete brake again. So as I mentioned, this is now the stator of the brake. Again, let's look closely at it again. There we can see the magnets. Yeah, hope you can see them. There they go. There they are, right around the outside of the brake. This here is the rotor. This is an assembled rotor, as you can see. 
here, the difference is that here on one side, we have here the, the locations for the riveting here, and they are riveted together here to this position on the armature that gives us a complete rotary system. So the rotary system looks like this. And here, if you can see it, you can see now how the springs work together with the hub. Again, why is this so? We will have a look at in various sections of the next video, but this is the basic principle. These are the springs. So when it's complete, this is it. We have the stator, we have the rotor, and both together make up a complete permanent magnet brake. In this video, we will be looking at a permanent magnet brake from a cross-sectional point of view. Here, I have a cross-section of a permanent magnet brake, and we will be looking at each of the components from a cross-sectional point of view. Here, this part of the brake here, and here basically it's a circle, is the housing of the brake. And if you wish, we are now looking at this part of the brake here, here as you can see. Here, this is the coil. And the coil is made, is made up of windings of copper, which is basically this component here, as you can see here from a cross-sectional point of view. Here, if we look closely, we can see the magnets. This, this little component here and here, they go right around, they go right around the top of the brake are the magnets. No? There's the magnet. So they are magnetized and they hold, as you can see here, a piece of steel. So these are the magnets. They look very similar to this magnet here, very similar, and they are placed around the brake. Now we are moving on to the rotary part of the brake. This again, now here's the rotary part of the brake. Here, we'll have a look at it like this. Here's the rotary part of the brake. Here we have the, the hub, the aluminium hub, as you can see here, is this part of the brake here. And the armature plate is here, this here and here. And that is where the armature plate contacts with the surface of the brake here. Okay, now, as the videos continue, we will, we, we will again go further into the details of how it works. But until then, thank you. In this video, we will be looking at how a permanent magnet brake switches. Here, I have a power supply, which is set to the nominal voltage of 24 volts. And a permanent magnet brake is connected to the power supply. Here. I have a permanent magnet brake. Let's have a quick look inside. Here we have a card that is used for transportation purposes. So let's take this out, put it to one side, and we can have a look here. As you can see, the system is not magnetized. Let's switch off the power supply. And as you can see, look, you can see that the brake is now returned to its permanent magnets. Let's put the Let's put the armature of the system back onto the brake. And as you can see now, I cannot, I cannot remove the armature of the brake. So therefore, at this moment, the magnets are active. So let's switch on the power supply. And through this, we will be canceling the electromagnetic field of the coil and the brake will open. So power supply is on. And we'll open it up. As you can see, I can now remove the armature very easily. And as you can see, it is no longer magnetic. And again, let's switch off the power supply. Power supply is off. And let's have a look here. As you can see, the magnets are back and they are active. Thank you for watching and listening to this training video. There are other videos that provide training material for the concepts of electromagnetic brakes and Kendrion products. So take the time and enhance your knowledge.